I sat up. My head was throbbing with a dull ache. Everything flooded back to me, but it was kind of fuzzy. I was back in the bed and back in the mansion. The god took my blood and now I was here. Again. Someone had moved me while I was unconscious. The thought made my skin crawl. Damn it. I buried my head in my hands as the weight of my situation dropped over me. I was really trapped. There was no way out. My mind began to race, unwilling to accept that I couldn't just leave somehow. I wanted to go home. I just wanted to go home. My anger exploded into an awful depression as tears threatened to leak out of my eyes. No, I did not have time to cry. You only have two or three human years. <laughs> I, I roughly wiped at my face and kicked the blankets off Big me. Big quarantine mood. Damn. The damp, smelly, heavy blankets. Despair would not help me get the fuck out of here. As soon as I got to my feet, I felt weak. My hands shook slightly. I needed to eat something. All I really wanted to do was tear the room apart, break everything, tear it all up, teach them a lesson for dragging me back here. I glanced over, and the original package of food was gone, but another had been set in its place. I really needed to eat. I staggered over to the table and collapsed into the chair. There was a large sandwich and freshly cut fruit and vegetables wrapped up for me. Okay. Oh, that's nice of them. I wonder yeah. where they're getting the fruit. I was wondering, like, is there, like, a rooftop garden? Like, where, where's the fruit coming from? Despite the overall decrepit and moldy state of the mansion, the food looks pristine. Harris is a great cook. <laughs> yeah! It's the unicorn. I looked up at the door, which was open. Please put on a shirt. It really shouldn't have opened so quiet. <laughs> I don't quiet. trust this guy at all. <laughs> I could ten thousand percent because glove? of the peacock feathers. This glove, this mesh glove that he got a hot right, top. He looks like a twink who's about to walk into this a really like niche twink. kind of gay bar. Yeah, he's going. He's literally going to a rave. He's going to a gay rave. He got his mesh glove, his other, his unmatched glove, his half jacket his peacock right, he does he does kind of have a face that looks like a looks like a horse i see it i see it i see what you're saying i see it his eyes are nice though and i love the hair color and the piercings yeah i just i i think this guy like also, I, don't he trust, have I don't trust the peacock feathers look at the pants look at the pants zone that's like a very high slit skirt and bare skin like there's nothing that's iconic that's a skirt i look at it i don't see any pants I looked I, up at the oh door. Oh my god, I think that's an- I think he's just an icon. <laughs> you went from hating this twink to really loving him in like 10 seconds. Oh no, are you kidding? Like, the problem is that like, this twink is who I'm trying to be. This is your like, dream body? No. <laughs> but yes. It's complicated. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance This is what peak male performance <laughs> looks like, like. Look at the hip zone. Look at the just shape of this person. Like, this is a very good shape. The hip little- curve right there and then back up and around i love that shit anyway yeah like real non-binary mood i thought the hoop earrings are very very sassy which i'm loving mm -hmm. and the nail color uh, he just he just also looks like he's a complete asshole he also looks like he's not very smart <laughs> i'm looking at his eyes and i'm hearing elevator <laughs> music <laughs> I, I feel like he's actually gonna be like really smart all his brain cells went into like painting that line across his face because you know that's makeup right that's not a yeah. skin like the fumes of that he's face really paint. passionate about making sure it looks right he's yeah. also got really long nails yeah the nails the nails in this this zone hey bud bud that's gonna be a no for me dog well the, with the other one she was a woman like at least there's alternatives here but this is like you know how when the night comes everybody just, has like four ear piercings i just don't like long nails you know what i'm saying no, but hear me out you know how in when the night comes everybody has like four ear piercings yeah right everybody in this game has really long nails maybe every game just has like a thing yeah tristan didn't have really long I nails i can't believe every character in this game is a bottom i can't believe every character in this game is a bottom that's what i was and trying then to say I, I was trying really hard not to say that because I don't want to up the rating. I accidentally. Um, it's okay. It's okay. I wanted to go back and read what it said before because I what it said before I didn't um, see it. Uh, in the doorway stood a man with purple hair and a twisted horn sticking out of his forehead. Yeah, I can see that much. We didn't really. And he need said, to "I'm just here. I'm just here." 
He walked inside without invitation. So we have confirmation he's not a vampire. <laughs> his movements were graceful. I think the confirmation was his ears and his horn, but thank you. His movements were graceful, and I was too confused to react. This man is a unicorn. <laughs> Stop making that face at me. As I got closer, his gaze narrowed on a dark bottle of wine that rested. Why did they bring wine with it? I think Dionysus. that's like the one thing you don't want when you have less blood in you. Is wine? You don't want to poison to alcohol poison what little blood you have. You're Maybe supposed she to stay does. hydrated. She You're here. supposed to stay hydrated after you have blood drawn. They don't listen. There's not a lot of humans here. They don't know how they work. Valid. Yes, you can have my wine. Okay, I didn't tell you you can have my wine. You can just take it. He grabbed it and paused to look over the cork that sealed it. I could only guess that it was wine. It's your blood. They felt bad. They just had to give it back to you. For this. Oh, he's here for this. Hey, that's my wine. Should I should he give that back or should he who the hell are you? What are you more concerned with? I don't care about my wine. I do want to know what this thing is. Let's go with who the hell are you? Oh, oh no! Sorry, Karen. Who the hell are you? No one this for you to Karen. worry about. This bitch's name is Karen. What does Karen's voice sound like? Um, I can imitate it, but it's gonna be a very poor imitation. Please do it for me, please. You want me to do it for you? Yeah, so I can get an image. He said, no one for you to worry about. I love... <laughs> Karen, he sucks. He sucks. He every, sucks. Game, every game has to have like a bastard. <laughs> and this is our bastard. Karen is, this ba is our bastard. So I just realized something. Look at the hair and the peacock feathers. The tips of the hair are green. I thought that was part of the peacock feathers. See it? See what I mean? Uh, yeah. The tips are green. That's lovely. Pink, purple, and green. That's very bold. I think you, they're Karen. also growing out of the hair. Possibly. It's very bold of you, Karen, Karen, to grow peacock feathers. Don't take the human's wine. Eris <laughs> <laughs> got in trouble. Why did you have to give her the good stuff? Now he's pouting. Now I see it. The human has a name. And it's Ellie, and it's not Elidora. They both ignored me. Don't you have a few bottles hiding in your room? Go I tend to them. I an alcoholic horse. <laughs> He rolled his eyes and left without another word. No, come back! I need to figure out what the hell you are. He did sing. A, he did send a longing look to the bottle of wine, though. I'm I... glad you are awake again. No thanks to you. It is thanks to me Wait, that you woke up in bed with food and not half eaten by Nookin in the swamp. How often is that supposed to happen? Whenever Nyarbolta requires it. I shook my head and glanced over at the bottle of wine. I wasn't in the mood for this. I really wasn't. If you need anything, just need call for me. <laughs> he sounds so tired. How will you know? I'll hear it. Don't worry about that. As long as you are within the mansion's walls, I'll hear it. Okay. I shrugged. Okay, whatever. Maybe it was magic bird person powers. At this point, who was I to question any of this bullshit? How many other people are wandering around here? Excuse We've met everybody except me? the dragon. That's Spider Girl, Seta, the purple haired guy who wanted my liquor, Tristan, you, and the god. Anyone else? Eris paused a minute, frowning. Then I realized they were counting. Oh, Brenton. He's probably hiding up in the tower. That is where he usually is. With that said, they left. <laughs> I think I might be misgendering Eris a couple times, and I don't mean to do that. Mm. But it, it's non-binary solidarity. There you go. The door shut, and I noticed there was no form of lock. Would it even matter? Just prop the chair up. I guess. Yeah, I don't like the fact that there's no lock. Well, if God needs blood, God's getting his blood, I guess. I stared at the food and picked at it half-heartedly. If I wasn't starving, I wouldn't have bothered. I really didn't want to eat, but it gave me the energy to think. There had to be either a passage back to the woods, or maybe some kind of... spell. <laughs> this was all just so fucked up. Go meet Breton, dude. Go meet Breton. We still have to meet Breton. This time I heard the door open. Hello, Is he back? Ellie. Oh, he's set up. Still alive, I see. Seta, can you be less weird? Unless I am actually dead and this is hell, yeah? She laughed. <laughs> You're very funny. 
We aren't in hell, just another dimension of sorts. Thank you, Sarah. Another dimension? Mm-hmm. Touching, but not of your world. Any idea how to get back to my world? Oh, you want to cross the old one? She looks very excited about that possibility. That I want to cross the old one? Like, crosses and make him mad? I didn't say- You want to betray him. This felt like a trap. I'm not saying there is a way. Or that you might find that way inside a book. I'm also not telling you to. So be I shouldn't trust you. you trust I can't you, tell what Annie. you want from me, Seta. Oh, I think I think Seta is probably the most trustworthy person here. Do you? Yeah, the way that she told me that it was in a book, and to be careful who I trust. People don't tell you that unless she they're like, excited of the idea of me crossing the guy. Yeah, because she thinks it'd be fun. Well, leaving would be crossing him. Confessions. She wants to see me get my ass beat. My God. <laughs> well, leaving would have repercussions. So that would be crossing him. I'm saying, here's what I'm saying. I'm saying she's telling me where to look so that I get caught and get in trouble and get punished. I think she's like sadistic. Well, I think it's more, I don't think it's intentionally trying to get you caught. I think she's just entertained by the thought of what could happen. Like either you'll get out and she'll get to see him very angry and have that to entertain her, or you won't get out and you'll die and she'll have that to entertain her. No, that, that, that doesn't help me. <laughs> <laughs> she smiled and gave me a little wave. I will simply tell you goodbye for now. <laughs> okay, thank you, Seta. Wait. She was gone. Damn it. Does she literally just come in here to dangle some information over my head and then vanish? What was her problem? I'm gonna laugh if, like, we get, like, extended periods of time with Seta and, um, Tristan, and then with Brenton, and then we got, like, three seconds with Karen. And then the demo ended. I cannot click anymore. Oh, there we go. Alone again, I had nothing to do but deal with the food. Please let me eat. Gosh. I forced myself to take a few more bites. Then I stood up. If Eris and that weird swamp monster thought I was just going to sit around and let them drain me dry, they were stupid. <laughs> this whole thing is stupid. The hallway was empty, and the only sound of distant, dripping water could be heard. I started to head towards one of the closed doors when another one of them opened. Okay, take your bets. I think it's the unicorn again. <laughs> Probably. <gasps> oh my god, it's the guy from it's Monster Britain. High. It's I, what? I said it's the guy from Monster High. <laughs> I don't remember anything about Monster Heath. High. I'll send you a picture of Heath. I watched Ever After High, not Monster High. Wow. You have taste. <laughs> just I have taste because I watched both of them. Um, anyway, Heath, yeah, he's just a fire elemental. Did you used to collect the dolls, or is that someone else? I collected the dolls. Yeah, I still have okay. the dolls. Nice, thank you. A man with his head on fire stalked past me without so much as a glance my way. Mood. Your head is on fire. <laughs> That's definitely not the delivery, but I feel like at this point Ellie has seen so much like weird shit. <laughs> she just kind of points it out like you she's might not know. worried about it. She's just like your head's on fire. <laughs> this might be interest of interest to you. Your head's on fire. The, you know it's raining outside. You know. He stopped and looked at me. A human. You're ahead. <laughs> I pointed, but seriously, how did he not feel that? Definitely a human. Fire does not harm me. Fire cannot kill a dragon. That's actually startlingly similar to his delivery. <laughs> <laughs> he ran a hand through the flames as if they were his hair. I love that. I wish that I got a cutscene of that because I want to see that animated real bad. I want to hear Ellie scream about it like <laughs> he's like yeah. I can't click again oh, there we go that doesn't hurt oh he's got a little paw I put at the top of his head he also has really long nails yep I started to does Tristan have long nails Tristan doesn't Tristan's the one I don't think we could see Tristan's hand Tristan did like one pose where you could see his hand okay. I don't know if he could really make his nails out somebody's about to interrupt him I pointed at the top of his head he started to speak as someone else interrupted him Give me the oh, unicorn. No. Yes! Was he thinking too hard again? <gasps> Did they not like each other? Shouldn't I don't like each other. Out somewhere. 
Eris gave all the good wine to the human and has the rest locked up. This bitch is just pouting about not having alcohol. Karen oh. and Ellie have a lot in common. <laughs> They're both alcoholics. God, they can never be Come together. Come on, Brenton. Oh. Back up, Ask Karen. them for a bottle and let me have it, will you? <laughs> so this guy with the fire hair must be Brenton. I doubt they'll fall for that again. It's worth a try, isn't it? Ooh, we got a nice tummy shot here. We can take in the tummy. <laughs> Excuse me, if you two boys are done? They both stopped and looked at me. Where are all of the books? Ellie, you dumb shit. If you ask Eris for books, they'll bring you some. I would like to look at all the books. <laughs> Ellie, oh my god. Like, I don't, know what I I don't want read. any dirty Ellie. humans tramping around my bedroom. Darren? What? That's he rude. Sleeps in the library. He sleeps in the but library. But I actually have a lot of books in my tower. If you tell me what book you're looking for and give me that wine, I'll look in my room for you. Karen. Karen, how would I give you the wine and you let me in there to look at the books? This is my plan. We're gonna seduce Karen. We're doing the Karen route. We get in Karen's Purely room. Purely for the books. Purely for the books. This is foolproof. I think there are a lot of um, flaws Oops. with this plan, not the least being of which being that Karen is a little bitch. Karen, um, that's the least of my worries. I can handle a little bitch. Woo. I... That's all I have to say. I we, I've known Karen for five minutes, and... If anything happened to him, I would actively hand him over to whoever's trying to kill him. I've known Karen for five minutes, and if something were to happen to him, I would go in his room and look through all the books. <laughs> if I've known Karen for five minutes, and if anything happened to him, I would simply say, good. <laughs> <laughs> I've known Karen for five minutes, and if something were to happen to him, I would simply say, I missed his slim, slim waist. And then I would go in his room and look through the books. I don't miss the slim waist. I think it's too slim. I like it. I it's like um. He's too skinny. I like the. I don't know why I like these hips so much, but I do. They don't. Oh, he's lie. got good hips. They don't lie. And I like that he wears his skirt thing like real low. Like he knows that I'm looking. <laughs> I don't know. Don't believe him. He's just after the wine. Just because I've told you that lie before doesn't mean I'm dishonest with everyone. Yes, it fucking does, dude. Wh what? Karen. <laughs> You're just so easy to trick, Scales. Don't call oh, me that! Look at her face, like, I... Exactly what book I'm looking for! <laughs> I don't know what's going on with y'all, but can we get back to, like, the point? She's not good at this. She's not good at well, this. Well, that doesn't help. I don't know, but when I see it, you're not good at this. Maybe I shouldn't have trusted Seta. They were both looking at me like I was an idiot. But I didn't want them to know I was looking for a way to escape. What if they told Eris or Nyarbolt? I'm just looking for ways to protect myself here. I almost died in the swamp, and no one has told me anything but death, death, death. It is pretty dangerous. So, <laughs> I didn't about say <laughs> the wine... I when it said um it's pretty dangerous, like it was loading in slow and I just got it's pretty dang. And I thought he was just like, yeah, it's pretty dang deadly out there. <laughs> <laughs> pretty dang deadly. I ignored him. There has to be some books on the things that live here, what this place is and everything, right? That's actually smart. Okay, Ellie saved it. Neither of them said anything. How am I supposed to defend myself, huh? I don't know any of the weird rules or anything. I You're really safe don't inside the mansion. Probably. Probably. And Eris will take I'm... care of you. Most of the time. Why are you so worried? I'm getting a bit bored, so... <sighs> God, Karen sucks. Bye. Karen walked away. He was completely unhelpful. He sucks. I hate My thing Karen. is, like, do you think he'd be, like, 
better on his route, or do you for think sure. he would be just as much of a dick? I think he'd be a dick for like the majority of it, and then suddenly halfway through, he's gonna be like really, really. Well, or maybe it's like a really well written like douchebag growth. Yeah, here's what I think. I think that the the partying and the drinking and the I'm bored with this, so it's like a defense mechanism to hide the fact that yeah, but I'm not sure I'm willing to do the work to uncover it. I am. You can just like get on your phone or something, and I will <laughs> carry this team. We have such different dynamics with regards to like what we're willing to put up with in a significant other. I I'm not okay, 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 okay. Yeah, games significant other. I would not put up with that attitude in a real. Because I'm just over here, like even in a game, I'm like, mm mm, I'm done with this. Like he's I graduated high school already. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so you remember, um, seduce me. Yes. And the guy I dated was um the green one, I forgot his name. Oh, I also dated the green one, the don't worry. Sam. Yeah, but I do I dated all of them, I think. Well I dated all of them, but I went for Sam first. That was my oh. like favorite. Because he was the angry one? Because he was he sucked. <laughs> He sucked, all of us. I'm going right really for this good. one who sucks. Huh? You know, his growth was good. So what I'm saying is, I like the shitty ones because of the <laughs> promise that they'll get better. Because it's a, a power fantasy. Because in real life, shitty people just stay shitty no matter what you do. Yeah, that's or fair. How much you learn about their backstory or how much therapy they go to, they always suck. But in no, okay. If they, the problem is most of them don't go to therapy. The problem is most of them don't go to therapy. The other problem is most of them don't benefit from therapy. I'm just making that up and pulling that out of my ass. I, I think I, people benefit from therapy a lot. People benefit from therapy. I don't think... <laughs> I like I, therapy. Th I like therapy too. What I'm saying is, people who are mean to me specifically don't benefit from therapy because they don't take it serious. That's valid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like in my experience, okay, I don't know why we got off on this therapy tangent. I know it's my fault, but I don't remember how. <laughs> I'm blaming you. Karen. Anyway, let's look at Britain. I saw Karen sucks. Let's look at Britain. I moved my arms wide and pleaded with him. Help me out, man. Come on. I want to look at books. Ellie, you're weird. He paused and looked me over briefly. I have some books in my tower. I'm not sure what they're all about, but if you want to come up... To your tower? What? Sounds cool. I mean, it sounds creepy, but I think it sounds cool. Let's, let's, let's see sounds like. cool it. We got plus team. team. Why would that be tame? Whatever. That sounds really cool. I guess because you're not starting a fight. But you have books? I think we got a plus Brandon. Yeah, I saw it. I Did you do. say Brandon? I said Brandon. Brenton? I, I, I actually made, accidentally made a D sound instead of a T sound. Ah. Well, he's got books. Well, lead the way. I'm sad that we got minus with Karen. I know you're not sad, but I'm sad. Karen's the only one. I we think Karen's a little bitch. I mean, we're gonna I get my. Think Karen's a little bitch. Probably gonna get about my fifteen minuses with Karen. It's my little bitch. We're <laughs> we're probably gonna get about fifteen more minuses with Karen before this is over with. Not if I have anything to say about it. I love bitches. What can I say? <laughs> well, I'm interested in getting to know this himbo man a little bit more. This himbo man? This one in particular? This book smart himbo man. This book smart himbo man. I like, think so far Tristan is my favorite for sure. But... He said he didn't read any of them. Oh yeah, no, I don't think this man knows how to read. I don't think he's um, book smart. He looked down the hall towards the dining area and then turned around towards the door at the opposite end. Okay. Trying to follow a creepy man. This way. Like, his, you, you can't hear his voice, but he sounds really well-meaning. Just like, he sounds really like stupid. Genuine. Yeah, he's very genuine, just stupid. Okay. We walked up a long set of stairs. It felt like it took forever. I was huffing pretty badly, but Brenton seemed oblivious. I was struggling to keep up. Oh! I stepped into a cluttered mess. The okay, I thought I quit something on accident. The room had stacks of stuff. Everywhere. It was ridiculous. I glanced over at Brenton, but he wasn't reacting as if this was a shock. Damn, bitch, you live like I, I think his bed looks a lot better than your bed. His bed has more covers, but, like, this is- Is this not, like, every apartment of every guy that you've ever gone to the apartment of? Shit, this is what my apartment looks like. This is what- you, Damn, bitch, you live like this? <laughs> he has an angel facing his bed. Look at- Look at the front of the bed. I would have to turn- I would simply have to turn that around. I would simply I have to turn it. that around if I were to sleep up here. Yeah, no, like, my- well- With him? I moved in and then COVID happened. Mm -hmm. So, like, I it's haven't COVID. had the time to, like, go get- I'm totally not just you. I'm wanting- I'm wanting you to finish talking so we can judge Brenton together. 
I can't judge Brenton because I'll just feel bad about how my room looks. Okay, I'm going to judge Brenton. You just don't make any noise. Okay. Brenton has got a record player. I find that cool. I can picture him sitting. Oh, my God. Wait. It's a, a romantic scene where he, canvases. where y'all dance to his record player, huh? He's got canvases. Do you think he paints or do you think he just has canvases? I think I might just be there. I think he paints. And there's all these books that he's never read and several lit candles that are dangerous and a lot of rolls of cloth and this fucked up lamp and whatever this is. And I like here. that they just kind of shoved you in a room that has nothing in it. Mm-hmm. And then like he's I, in a room that has everything in I it. I feel like he might be doing some like dragon hoarding. And that might be what's happening. That could be a here. thing, yeah. It's also possible that he lives in an attic and everything was already here. <laughs> ah. I had no idea how I was going to find a book in all of this junk. Just looking at it all made my skin itchy. I can see the books from here. The walls were littered with holes that had glimpses of the sky. There were scorch marks scattered around. If you want to just sit. <laughs> he knocked some stuff onto the floor and a chair appeared. Right here. I'll see if I can dig something out. I sat. Honestly, I needed to sit down. The room was making me a bit queasy. It didn't smell bad. It actually felt warmer and drier than the rest of the mansion. There was just so much stuff. Yeah, I guess it would be drier since it's higher up. He knocked some stuff around and then brought me a few books, each differently sized. I took them when he handed them to me. One looked like a cookbook for cakes and pies in another language. Then a dictionary with a sizable chunk of pages missing. Last one was a kid's book about some pigs and a wolf. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brenton. These aren't really going to help me. I can Brenton. Keep oh my god, what if he can't read? He's trying desperately to help. What if he's doing so I'm proud of you, Brenton. I'm, I'm just I feel really bad. Like it's one of those things where like someone is trying desperately to help you, but they're fucking up so badly and you feel guilty about the fact that they're not helping you and you have to keep asking. Yeah. Like, that's that's the emotion I'm getting here, and I feel, like, really bad. I, like, I'm sorry, Brenton. This is not what I need. I'm I really to, appreciate your effort, but... I'm about to walk back to my room, down a million flights of stairs, holding a pile of, like, worthless, rotting paper, because I don't want to look him in the eye and tell him that he didn't help me, so I'll just be like, thank you so much. I'm gonna go peruse these. Um, thank you for your help. And I'll be holding, like, a phone book, from like 1989 and I'll be holding like a children's book and I'll be holding you know the cookbook and I'll be holding like a newspaper from a different it'll be it'll like be, a really old farmer's almanac a really old farmer's almanac a like sky mall like pam uh what like an old sure? Sears magazine for sure yeah and um Brenton's diary and I'll be like, hey, diary. I don't think he can read. These will help me survive. Okay. I don't think he can read. I don't think he can read. I didn't say his diary had words. I. It... <laughs> it's, it's got little like paw prints. Pictures, yeah. How? How would you find anything in this place? Ellie, can I... you stop being rude? No, it's a bit of a mess right now. Damn, bitch, you live like this? Where do you sleep? There. Ellie, I can see the bed. <laughs> he pointed at a pile of blankets in the center. There was a bed there, if I looked hard. Hard, if I looked hard enough. I just shook my head. He cleared his throat. I can't help it. I, uh, uh. It's the hoarding problem. Mm-hmm. Brenton, I've been watching a lot of hoarders. Uh, I think I can, I think I've become equipped to help you. Uh, the solution I'm a is to dragon. get somebody else to do it. It's just my nature. I didn't read that. I'm a dragon. It's just my nature. I didn't read what happened before that. It's okay. No, I can't. It just said he spread his arms out. He spread his arms out dragon i know i look human right now oh please please go dragon on me your head is on fire that doesn't look human not to mention the horns oh he's winking I know this place is hard for new worshipers that word again i don't like it why i stood up i had intended to pace but there wasn't space for it I don't like any of this. I just want to go home. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. He took a step closer, towering over me. His body radiated a lot of heat, actually. Yeah, I can imagine. I know it's hard. But if you're careful, you can go home when the deal is over, right? So why not just relax? That's I don't know what deals with all, all these 
people made. I want to know. Yeah, I want to know why everybody else is here. Also, that's not how it works. I'm going to die if I'm careful. You know, don't die. Stay in the mansion. Don't piss off Nyarbalte. Or Eris. Maybe stay away from the others. Oh, sure. I'll just sit around for a few years. It might not be so bad. He grinned at me. He really just didn't get it at all, did he? How thick can a guy be? <laughs> How thick are you? Hey, Brenton, turn around. How thick are you? <laughs> How thick can a guy be? He was sort of trying to be helpful, though. I think. I think he is. I think he is. Try to explain into... Try, oh my god. Try to explain it to him. Storm out. Ask to search for books. Um... I think we should try to explain it to him. I want to explain it to him too. That'll give us some tame. I want him to. Okay, I want the first thing that need that the fandom needs to create for this is that meme of the woman looking with like all the equations around her, <laughs> and it's him. Like, I yeah. understand why we want to go home. Yeah. I mean, now you have to make it though, because we are currently the fandom for this game. Oh, that is that is true. We are the Jamie wants to make it, Jamie. Hey Jamie. Hey Jamie. Hey Jamie and Co. at Scribble. I think this could be some official artwork for your this game. Could be some official marketing material, and we won't even ask for compensation. Just <laughs> no, I could probably draw it. You could probably, yeah. Robin will draw it for free. I like how you just offered me up like that. I said could, and you said will. Robin will draw it for free. <laughs> Robin's right now. Robin is booting up their uh, like paint tool sigh and drawing it right no. now. That's not even what I use. I don't care what you use. You're booting up paint tool sigh. <laughs> We're going to explain it to him. Government assigned paint tool sigh. I just needed to take it slow and find a way to make this dumbass understand. <laughs> Brenton, I don't like it here. I don't want to die if I step outside or get tricked. None of this is good for me. You get that, don't you? Sure. But there isn't anything you can do about it. He sighed and ran a hand through the flames on his head. I winced, expecting him to yelp, but it really didn't seem to faze him. If I touch your hair, will it? Get, will I get burned? It wasn't something I should be thinking about right now. It really isn't. <laughs> it's just too relatable to having to pause a whole conversation and be like, like Am I going to touch your hair? Would it burn me? But damn it, I couldn't help it. The fire danced and it was so distracting. Ooh, are what? we about to have a moment? Oh, oh, we're Girl, not having a moment. Rage. We're having the Girl. opposite of a moment. We're having the opposite of a moment. Why would you just touch it? You can't just touch people's hair. That's like a whole thing. Like a whole thing culturally. You can't just touch people's hair. I reached up tentatively. Is it hot? Well, I guess if she does it tentatively. It's kind of like it's, asking. It's, it's kind of asking if you go slowly enough. See, the picture made me think she was just like, yoink, you know? Yeah. I raised my hand slightly and he jumped back. He invariably tripped on something and fell backwards. Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you see that bitch went down? Did you see his design though? Yeah, he just oh, came back around. It looked cool though. I want to see his design. Oh. The cra there was a crash and suddenly he was on the ground surrounded by some random bits of furniture and other junk. Before I could reach out to help him, he had bounced up on his feet. Please still be in that cool design. Please. Damn it. He stepped away from me, looking down at the fresh mess at his feet. I, uh, I'm going to clean this up. I'll look for more books for you, okay? <gasps> he just has a really, like... How does he sound? Tell he me. sounds dumb as bricks, but really earnest. He said, does he sound, like, kind? He's like, oh, yeah, 10,000%. He, I don't know if he sounds kind so much as, like, too dumb to be mean. I can um, with that. But I really appreciate it. <laughs> like, he just, like, like the fact that the first thing he does is offer to find more books for you. He wants me to leave, is what he's saying. I, Brenton, I'm sorry that I did that. I did not get an option. Sure. So? He waved at the door and refused. Okay, and we're back. I finally figured it out. Oh, so easy. We ran into a snafu but we are back with the boy Brenton he waved at the door and refused to look at me we did like we it was a big snafu but it's okay it was a big snafu Robin had to go through some personal changes I had to delete about um I think about 50 gigs of stuff off of my Robin laptop. said 
now's the time to do some spring cleaning. And we did some spring cleaning <laughs> yeah. and we're back and we're leaving uh, Brenton behind. I took the hint and left. The first time I've done something smart. <laughs> the first time she's been able down. to pick up something subtle all day.